My name's Richard Stibbard from webinaction.co.uk. I've been developing websites as a freelancer for quite a while, since 2006, and teaching online for much longer. And I'd like to welcome you to my course on how to build a dynamic website which instantly updates with no page refresh using MySQL, PHP, CSS, jQuery and Ajax. You'll be familiar with the way websites are becoming increasingly like desktop applications, reacting instantly to your choices without making you wait for the page to refresh or go to a new page to see the results. An example of an impressively smooth web interface is Trivago, where new results for hotels appear as you select different destination cities and the search results are progressively filtered according to the price range you select distance from given location, or various facilities you need, all without leaving the main page. I'll base my project loosely on YouTube's Add to Favourites feature, where you click on Add to, and then Favourites, and the movie title is added instantly to your favourites list on the left. My YouTube mock-up website looks like this. On the right, we have a list of movies in the database, waiting to attract the user's attention. And on the left are those movies which the user has already added to their favourites list. By the way, to save any disappointment later, I'll tell you right now that these are not real movies. They're just images. And the database contains just a number of spoof movie titles and usernames. This is dummy data, but it's enough to set up a website of this sort and real data can be substituted later. Mousing over a movie reveals a little heart icon which you can click on and as on YouTube the movie name will appear instantly in the list on the left. The style of that favourite item is altered to draw the user's attention to the part of the screen where the change has taken place. Otherwise with this style of website it may not always be obvious that anything has actually changed. If you refresh the page, the movie remains in the favourites list because we've stored it in the database in the background. I want to demonstrate several ways of firing these data updates. So instead of clicking to delete movies from the favourite list, I've implemented a drag and drop interface. Drag a title from favourites to the trash can below and you'll see that the movie disappears from the list on the left and reappears on the right again. And there's visual feedback again in the form of a little success icon, a tick. Clicking on a movie thumbnail or its title in the favourites list brings up the single movie page. If the movie is already a favourite, you can click to remove it. If not, click to add it. And you'll see that the text changes appropriately for that link. If we continue deleting favourites until there are none left, the title of the favourites list changes, the trash can disappears and the welcome message at the top is different. Do the reverse and add all the titles to the favourite list and another welcome message appears. We'll also build an admin facility to add, delete or alter the names of movies and moviegoers in the database. Again, this is designed to mimic a desktop application with the records instantly updated as you enter or alter them. We can alter existing records simply by typing in their input boxes with no need to click any buttons. A loader icon shows updating in progress, a success tick shows it's completed, so again providing visual feedback. In the users admin area you can see the new results displayed instantly in the list on the right as well as in the admin table. Would you like to know how all this was done? Would you like to know how to tie together the various different technologies involved to make a working project an instantly updating database interface? My experience is that there are many tutorials on the web which teach various aspects of what we're going to do here, but to get them to work requires a great deal of digging around, learning some bits from one place and some from another, and according to how good you are at that sort of thing, you may or may not waste a lot of time in the process and not actually end up with anything that really works. I've drawn everything you need into a coherent and structured course. I will teach you to code this project from scratch if you're a beginner, taking you right from basic HTML5 page structure 
through the various stages of styling, using jQuery to manipulate what appears on the screen, using MySQL to add, modify, or delete the data in the database, PHP to automate those database tasks and make the dynamic data accessible through a browser, and finally Ajax to perform the database jobs silently in the background. Throughout the course, I provide chapters teaching the programming language in question in general terms before homing in on what's needed to complete this particular application. My aim in my coding style is to be accommodating to you as a learner so that you understand every line you write, because there is no point in blindly typing in code if you have no idea of how it works or what you're doing. I will explain all these stages step by step so that you truly understand what's going on and will be able to build on and adapt the foundations laid here in this course to build your own web applications. If you're a more advanced learner, then most likely you're like me, in not having much patience sitting through explanations of things you already know. So I've organised the course in such a way that you can join at any point and get straight to the parts you need, skipping the things you already know. Completed working files are provided for every stage, matching the lessons exactly. So that if you don't need your hand holding through a particular part, you can download the relevant files and concentrate on the exact topics you need, wasting no time. Dynamic, instantly refreshing websites powered by jQuery and Ajax are a key aspect of modern web design which every developer and designer needs to understand. I do hope you'll enjoy the course and find it very useful for your professional development or your personal interest. Don't hesitate to contact me through the message system or directly at learn at webinaction.co.uk if you have any questions at all.